I'm gonna interrupt because I'm gonna get my camera set up for a minute. Anyways, Erica just came in. She brought us donuts, or as she says, dodos, and then we also got some pizza. All vegan, baby, because she is a fellow vegan team member. So I'm excited to give this a try and try some of these dodos. Where are these dodos from? Uh, Mighty O. Mighty O. She's been telling me about this spot, so hopefully it lives up oh to God, her uh, extravagant okay. description. <laughs> Bitch. Hey guys. We're in the land of magic and mystery. This enchantress. All right, guys, I am at work with Mr. Paul Cantu here. He's actually working on some Instagram photos. That was rude. But anyways, guys, so a little story time. I actually bought two jackets this morning, both way overpriced. Originally, they were $600. However, they had a 30% off sale, so they were $450 apiece. One had wool and leather, and as you guys know, I'm vegan. The only time I am cool with buying wool bars or leather products is if it's secondhand, so that way it doesn't contribute towards the production of that product. It's already obviously been purchased, it's already been contributed towards the animal agriculture industry, yada, yada, yada. But I bought this jacket, I came back to work, I came over here and I just felt super guilty and so I had to go return it. At the end of the day, like I could not contribute towards that industry. I just felt super freaking guilty about it. Obviously, I understand a lot of you guys watching are not vegan, so no disrespect if you wear wool or leather or anything like that. That's your prerogative, that's your life. You know, do whatever the fuck you wanna do with your life. Anyways, I'm at work right now as well. I'm mostly done with all of my work stuff. I added the stock for these hats. You know, I've been around cleaning and stuff, and so now I'm probably going to work on some vidyas and photos as well. So me and Mr. Paul Cantu are probably just gonna geek out with our laptops at the front counter. Geek! All right, so our dear friend Eureka here actually hooked it up and fucking made us these noodles, some guac, brought some veggies over, mm. freshly picked, this delicious pie right here. We have so much dessert, like literally, like half of what she brought over was dessert because she brought over this whole pie. And then she brought over all these donuts, and these are all vegan donuts, everything vegan, because she vegan, and we vegan. A little vegan feast. Hey, she is the plug. Let me hit up the plug. Bad bitches and they all doing drugs. Hey guys, a couple crucial things about this little fridge, right? Okay, first of all, look at this fucking jelly. See this thing? It's smaller than my hand. Guess how much this cost? If you guessed $7, you are right. If you are super pissed about that, you should be, because this is ridiculous. This tiny little sample jar is seven freaking dollars. That's crazy. So, bros, it was the first day of spring quarter today, and I'm low-key kind of pissed because I did not bring my camera, and then I started recording with my telephone, and it, like, wasn't recording, or I took pictures on accident. I don't fucking know what happened, but I don't have all the videos, and I'm super pissed off about that. Anyways, I am linked up with the homie, Mr. Paul Can to himself, and we are actually about to go thrifting. I will probably not make a trip to the thrift right now, but I will probably film some trip to the thrift footage in one of the thrift stores that we go to, which is Frenzy, and that is a thrift store that I just want everyone to check out in Washington, so I'm doing a video just for that thrift store because I found so much freaking yoga flame in there. You already know, and me and Mr. Paul Can too hit the streets. It's a fucking thrift plunder. We got so much fucking heat in here just piled up to the top of my fucking dirty ass car. FUBU boys, we actually about to hit uh, Chipotle. And Chipotle has some really good vegan options. Hopefully I don't get E. coli or Ebola or whatever their burritos were contaminated with. That is looking mighty delicious. Look at all that. Pure E. coli. Mm. Pure Ebola mixed with E. coli. I keep spilling like beans and shit, right? There's like beans and tofu spilling everywhere because it's really hard to eat this on the go. But you can definitely tell that one of us does this for a living. There's definitely one of us too that eats big fat burritos for a living. And it's probably the one that's not making a mess and it's slurping up all the extras with ease. E. coli, baby. This shirtless Smeagol is over here editing videos. I gotta hurry the fuck up and get to my niece's conference. This shirtless Smeagol is editing the cover photo for a video he is about to drop. That's right. All right guys, so I'm done with the student conference. I got some Skittles and some 7-Up thanks to my lovely Madre. Spanish. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're about to go to T-Mobile so we can get Paul a new phone. Paul's grabbing a new iPhone because Lord knows he needs one. He's got a vintage ass iPhone 4. Yes. He actually can't vlog right now because he forgot his vlog camera. Hey, I can't vlog, but tell your mom she better have room for one more contact. You feel me? Inappropriate. But soon we will both have new phones. Two and we'll phones. fuck your mom. 
inappropriate. What's up guys? So I bitched out of my previous phone purchase, but now I'm going in to actually get my two phones, the 4S and the 8S. Let's go. Thank guys, we're at T-Mobile and motherfucking Gordon Gaines works here. <laughs> what are the odds? Gordon? Famous, dude. Gordon motherfucking Gaines. Oh my God. I'm surrounded by a celebrity. Alright y'all, see you later. Alright bro, flash me one time. So you know, just walk through the mall. Hey guys. New phone. Hey look, check it out man. Y'all know I'm more flexed out because I got two phones. You feel me? Check it, we got one. I got two, okay. I got two phones. One for the plug and one for the load. Alright guys, I'm on my way to class and surprisingly I'm actually running late today, which is really weird because I never do that. So um, yeah, after class I have to go straight to work. I shouldn't really have any breaks today, so that fucking sucks, but I brought this little guy along with me, so that way um, he can head with me straight to work. Two phone shouty. I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. All right, Mr. Paul Cantu is live in the flesh. By the way, guys, your boy just got a Snapchat, so if you don't see his video telling you guys and you didn't see my Snapchat last night, go follow him. Hey, log in. Dude, come on, log in, dude. Dude, log in. Okay, forget it. I'm just going to put it on the screen. Anyways, guys, we got a package here, so that's super dope. We got some new stock at a state. This is not for your boy's personal collection, but let's open it up and see what we got. All right, YouTube, it is another day and another dollar. Mr. Yeah, Paul baby. Cantu is over here. We are actually going to go say goodbye to some of the homies. We're going to have some vegan dinner with some homies, and then we're going to have another vegan dinner with some homies. Not really a vegan dinner, actually. Ours is going to be vegan. Theirs is probably not going to be. But, but anyways, I'm about to close up shop. I've done tons of pictures for the store today. And on top of that, me and Mr. Paul Cantu have been working like crazy on some new content for you guys. But yeah, man, tomorrow I have to bid farewell to my dear friend, Mr. Paul Cantu, my brother. But it's okay, though, because in about three weeks, motherfucker gonna be right back. What's up? Do the dream eat ice cream, motherfucker, motherfucker. Hey guys, so this is our second going away dinner for Paul. I actually didn't film the first one because we were in such a hurry to get there. I need to introduce you to them though, man. They're the homies. But yeah, you know, now we're on the second going away to uh, going away dinner for Paul. We got Antonio getting hyped up, ready, ready to go eat some pho, you know. And then we got Johnny over there, uh, rolling all of his windows up. Electric though. Hey man, look at my like, slippers electric though. though. God damn it. Look at my fucking slips. Gucci the slides. The Nike Gucci Whoa, collab. The other Nike Gucci collab. Look at my slippers. Damn. What do you say? What do you say when you need to uh, find a when you see a girl with a cute butt? With a cute butt? No, yeah. You just say, hey, what? You just talk to her. <laughs> talk to her real quick. Talk to her real quick. It's another human. It's not even. Two entities. <laughs> Turn around and die. Turn around and die. Turn around and die. Right. Yes. And then I saw you. And then you saw, you saw me. me. And then I'm gonna eat this chicken sandwich, bitch. Mother. You guys. You guys already know Antonio is young Naruto over here. <laughs> Look at him putting noodles in his sandwich. I swear he is this fucking noodle god right here. Yeah. Young Naruto. What the <laughs> this guy's messy ass lips. <laughs> 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 Call it a fucking sunset, but anyways, look at that beautiful morning sky, people. This is on the waterfront right down the street from my house. I get to wake up to this every morning. All right, I am dropping this man off at the airport right now. Saying farewell. It's macaroni time. It is macaroni time. Couple bucks for these bitches. Let me stop. Hey, but yeah, guys. So 
Anyways, um, about to drop him off. He'll be back in a couple weeks though. So it's all good. My life is still on, but I gotta say goodbye to the homie. <laughs> Hopefully I got that on camera. That was kind of funny. Something like that. Mission for the land of milk and honey, sort of funny how to see change. But new roads bring new scars. We duck your dodge it out of hoopla. Push it to the limit, going too far. That's what it takes to live the star life with two R's. Now they telling me.